Hello, this video is all about continuity cam and living inside of the Apple ecosystem. So if you have a relatively new iPhone, 2018 or newer, and a relatively new operating system, let's see here, I think it's uh, Ventura or newer, you can make this freaking iPhone an input and use it in, you know, I'm gonna use it in OBS. So right now I'm looking at my Logitech 920. Before we move on, I just wanna talk about some of the AI that's happening here. You have Portrait, which is blurring the background. You have Studio Light, which is making the background uh, darker and me uh, brighter. So we're gonna use these tools with the iPhone and it's gonna look amazing. And it can also be wireless or you can uh, hook it up and have it be wired. So I'm gonna to try to use it wirelessly. Hopefully it plays nice. And let's, uh, let's start recording over here. So I'm going to add an input down here. We'll just label this iPhone. Boom, and we will look for it here. So I don't see it. So I'm just gonna double check on my iPhone. Boom. So this is what it's gonna look like connecting to Mac. Um, uh, and I'm just gonna cancel this here. Maybe it needs to, maybe it needs a little more. Maybe it needs a little push. <laughs> uh, let's let's disconnect. Uh, so the input's not showing up. So I'm just gonna do a, a little, um, I'm leaving my iPhone the way it is. I'm just gonna restart OBS. So just stop recording there. The screen recording's still going. Um, and we will open OBS. So let's try this one more time. Device. Boom. Why the f... All right. So I'm going to call it audible. This does work. This will work for sure. Um, no doubt. Uh, no diggity, no doubt. Um, so I'm plugging this in using a lightning to USB-C cable. Um, and I'm going to unlock my phone and trust this computer. Um, once that happens here, um, we should see this as an available source. Great. So for whatever reason, um, you know, the wireless isn't as solid, I guess, for me, but it works a lot. I use it all the time. It's great. Um, so, um, you can do your screen, right? Um, so that's my screen. Um, you can resize that or you can do the camera. So that's what we're doing right here. We're using the camera and it will auto orient vertically or horizontal. So um, I'm just going to hit OK on this input and I'm going to show you. So um, what if we just made this a smaller source? That's kind of nice, right? That's really nice. So you can see the audio auto orient is working really well, but we want to use it as a source facing me. So I've rigged up this little uh, chest mount because I don't, I don't have an iPhone now for whatever stupid reason. And I'm going to uh, show you how great this thing can look. It's freaking awesome. I'm gonna start recording on this because we're gonna end, we're gonna use this as a source for the end of this video, I think. Um, so sync, <laughs> uh, but this is the cool stuff right here. This is where the sauce is. So I'm gonna come down here to my iPhone and I'm gonna turn off center stage. I'm gonna turn off studio light so you can see them all sort of working. So studio light back on, it's gonna make my face brighter. It's gonna make me the emphasis. It's gonna make the background darker. Um, portrait mode will blur things, keep me in focus. So it's more of like, um, you know, a shallow depth of field effect. And then the cool thing, right? Center stage is freaking cool because it will track me. So picture yourself doing things way off in the background, leaving the frame wide, and you can do so many cool things. So over here, you can see like, hey, hey, Mr. iPhone, hi. Um, Focus seems to be a problem, so I'm going to go ahead and turn off portrait, and now it should work a little bit better. Um, great, 
Great. So this is kind of just a neat little tool. You know, if you do things and you don't have other people there to be there with you, like center stage is a cool, cool tool to use. Um, and I think that it's something that I don't think a lot of people know about. I don't think a lot of people know about. It. And then there's also, you know, like obviously, um, whoa, whoa, ultra wide main. I don't know. If you have a better iPhone than just an iPhone 13, play with these options, dude. Like this is cool. So I think, I think for whatever reason, not having a light involved, like this is all unlit, by the way, this is super dark right here. So if we switch back to this webcam, this Logitech, this is what it looks like in here. And this is enhanced. So let's turn off studio light. Like it's not lit at all. It is not, <laughs> it is not lit with lights and it is not lit cool. So um, that's continuity cam. So if this video helped you, go ahead and drop a like. Thank you so much for your support. Leave a comment if you need help. I'll try the best I can, but I would just recommend going over to Apple support and seeing how that works because this is just new to me. It's just a tool I think a lot of people didn't know about. And um, you know, wirelessly, it's awesome to be able to take this source all around. I mean, it's basically NDI built into the Apple ecosystem, which kicks ass because not all of us are freaking computer wizards, you know? So thank you so much for watching this video and I hope you subscribe. Bye.